Want to find out what is the best build for the brand new exotic holster? What you should pair it with? Well, in today's video, I'm going to tell you what the best build is. SFA, this is Laserbolt. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new exotic holster in the Division 2. And we're going to be talking about what the best build for the exotic holster is now if you guys want to know if the exotic holster is worth the grind highly recommend you check out my exotic holster review definitely it's worth giving it a look before we dive in exactly talking about the exotic holster i do want to remind you guys about our monthly giveaway we're giving away a free pair of turtle beach recon 70s for the console of your choice to enter it's super duper easy all you got to do is click the joint bull nation in the description down below click that link and enter and good luck to everyone so what exactly is the best build for the exotic holster well the exotic holster comes with a couple of talents which will help us identify not only what is the best weapon to be using with the exotic holster but also help us identify what exactly is the correct build so the holster comes with two primary talents, the sleight of hand and the quick draw. These are the two talents that make this holster actually stand out. In addition to that, the holster comes with the ability of having two reds and one yellow. So right off the bat, that gives us an idea that we could create a glass cannon build and also create a very effective build that will allow us to dish a lot of damage and also maintaining our health as well. So now that we know and identified those two talents, and we know what we're looking to build let's talk about what weapons we're going to pick the weapon that mostly benefits out of all the weapons from this exotic holster is the lmg the reason why the lmg benefits out of any other weapon is due to the fact to the sleight of hand talent it gives us 20 percent accuracy 20 percent stability 40 percent reload speed and those are like the areas that the lmgs lack the most the stability the accuracy and the reload speed in addition to that, guys, it gives us the ability of pairing a dual LMG build and never running out of ammo. So that makes it very useful. Now, you don't have to go with a dual LMG build, but I personally love the dual LMG. You're able to get out 100 bullets, swap up to another LMG, another 100 bullets, back at it again. You're already refilled with another 200 bullets ready to dish out. Now, since I'm running a dual LMG build, I like to pair this with the Liberty Exotic Pistol. Now, that is my personal preference, but you guys don't technically have to run with a dual LMG. You could run an LMG and the Eagle Bear. Those are the only two exotics that fare pretty well with this build. You could either go LMG, Eagle Bear, and another pistol, or you could run my build with his two LMGs and the Liberty Pistol. The reason why I like the Liberty Pistol, it's because of its holster talent. The holster talent says independence. While holster destroying weak points refills 20% of your current weapon magazine. So this not only fares very well with the ability of never running out of ammo, but you're constantly getting your ammo back due to the fact that you're always shooting those weak points when you're doing high-end activities to maximize your DPS and maximize the speed you kill the enemy. So now that we got the build already set up, let's talk about what we're gonna be looking as far as the attributes. Like what type of build do we want? Do we want a 5.77? Do we want a 10.11.2? That's, I don't even think that's possible. What exactly are we trying to achieve? You're gonna wanna make sure that you only have one number that's gonna be your priority number. And that is gonna be the blue. You do not want the blue to dip any lower than six. And you want to make sure that everything else goes towards red. So you could have 11-6, you could have 12-6, 13-6, 15-6. You guys get the point. As long as you have the six blue, the red could go all the way up as much as you want. You want to prioritize number one, that the blue stays on six, and that your reds go as high as possibly as you can. That is what's going to make this build extremely viable. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, Laser, why do I want to have a six? Why don't I just totally max out the reds and forget about the blues and forget about the yellows? You guys will understand why I want you guys to keep a six as we progress through the video. But trust me, guys, you are going to fall in love with this build. All right, so now that we know our target, what we're looking for as far as build is concerned, let's talk about the mask. So for the mask, we're going to be looking out for two primary things. First, we're going to be looking at the mask that has the highest amount of damage of elites. 
And then we're going to be looking for a mass that has reds. That's going to be your main priority. Mass that has damage to elites as high as you could possibly get. 36, 35, 40, 50. As much as you want damage to elites. Number two, you want to make sure that it either has two reds or, has, or at least one red. The more reds, the better. And you want to make sure that it also has the hard-hitting talent. Those are the main concerns when you're looking for a mask. Damage to elites, much red as you possibly could. And of course, you want to have hard-hitting for the extra damage to elites. Now for the chess piece, guys, we're going to be looking at two primary things. Number one, we're going to be looking for a backpack that has three red attributes. That's going to be your number one goal. Look for a backpack that has three red attributes. In addition to that, guys, you're going to be looking for one that has the hard-hitting talent. The reason why you want to make sure that it has the hard-hitting talent, you want to have that additional 10%. And you also want to make sure that you get three reds because you want to get as many reds as you possibly can to the red side as long as you're still able to maintain that six in the blue. Usually the chess piece that roll with three reds is the 511 tactical, but you can also find Overlord also comes with three red attributes. I found the 511 tactical to be the best one out of all of them. So if you have an Overlord or a 511, definitely look to see which one lets you keep the build together. One thing I should mention about the chess piece though is if you do plan on running the Eagle Bearer, and not the Liberty Pistol, you could always look for a chess piece and slide over the Talent Berserker to give you that 10 plus weapon damage for every 10 max armor depleted. Now for the holster, you're definitely going to want to have the Exotic Holster, so we really don't have to go and overlook that anymore. Now for the backpack. Now for the backpack, it's actually quite tricky because you're going to definitely want to make sure that there is only one brand specific item that you're looking for, and that is a Petra backpack. The reason why you want a Petra backpack is because that is the only backpack that's going to give you that plus 10 LMG damage. In addition to that, guys, you're able to roll a total of three red attributes within the backpack itself, as opposed to picking any other sort of slot for Petrov. Now, keep in mind, the only two other additional slots we have for Petrov is the holster, but we already have the exotic holster, so we can't rely on that one. And of course, the chest piece. Now, the only problem with the chest piece is that a Petrov chest piece, it's not able to roll with offensive talents or, you know, red attributes. So definitely your only choice is to go with a Petrov backpack. In addition to that, guys, you want to make sure that the talent that you're trying to roll into the backpack in case it comes with a different talent is hard hitting. That's going to be your primary choice. If you could get your hands on a Petrov that has hard hitting and vital, that would be the number one ideal choice out of all of them. Now on to the gloves. Now for the gloves, we're going to be looking for three primary things. Number one, we're going to be looking for a specific brand as well, which is the Overlord. Now you're probably wondering, why do I want Overlord? Because Overlord is the only one that allows you to roll with two red attributes. Remember, we're trying to stack as many reds as we possibly can and still being able to keep that six. In addition to the brand, you also want to look for a pair of gloves that also comes with LMG damage. Now, you don't have to have the gloves drop with LMG damage. Remember, you can always transfer that LMG damage into the set of gloves that you have. So you're either looking for a glove that has the LMG damage or a glove that has crit hit chance. Now, as far as the talents are concerned, you could definitely pick from three different talents. You could pick from hard hitting, which would give you that 10% damage to elites. You could go with devastating, with it, which would give you a plus five weapon damage. And you could also go with precise, which gives you a plus 15 headshot damage. Overall, in general, I prefer hard hitting or devastating due to the fact that the stability of the LMGs is a little bit choppy. And sometimes when you need to shoot enemies from far away, you're not always going to be able to net that 15% headshot damage. But even though it's still a really good talent, if you so choose to decide to pick that one up. Now, the last item is actually going to be the knee pads. And for the knee pads, we're going to be looking for two things. Number one is the name brand, of course. And at number two is a specific talent. The name of the knee pads that we're going to be looking for are Gilligards. The reason why we want to get Gilligards is because they are the only set piece of knee pads that give us the ability to actually put two defensive mods in them. So you'll be able to net two defensive attributes just on the knee pads alone. And this is what lets you get that six. Now, the reason why you want to have that six is because of the talent that we're using. We're going to be using patience. Now, the reason why we want to use patience on the knee pads 
and not hard hitting. You could technically go with hard hitting because it's going to give you that 10 plus damage to elites. But the reason I like patience instead of hard hitting is to the fact that this build is very much like a glass cannon build. And you're going to need to find a way to actually get your health back. Now the reason why you want to make sure you get your health back is because you're going to be out in the front of the field killing out a bunch of enemies because you're going to be doing a lot of DPS. Now that's going to make you a little bit vulnerable and sometimes you won't be able to pop a med kit at the time of the engagement. The best way to actually go about regenerating your health is of course with patience because once you're in cover you will be getting your armor back. You're, you'll be able to get your health back. Now if you feel that you're actually pretty good at the game and you don't have to worry about going down and you're good with that you can always apply hard hitting to the knee pads and you will be as good as well because remember we still have yet to pick what specialist we're going to be using. Now there are multiple specialists that actually benefit from this build. The Sharpshooter, the Demolitionist, a couple builds actually benefit from this particular build. But, but the one I think fits perfectly with this build is the brand new Gunner Specialist. The reason is because we have multiple things to actually benefit from the build. Number one, we have the 20% weapon stability, which is really good. Number two, we have the 50 extra round magazines that we're able to put into the LMG, allowing us to kill multiple enemies at once. And the last ability, which allows us to reload faster every third time, I don't want to put it into the equation because we're already using the holster for the reload. So this is kind of, it goes to waste, but we actually have two important things that are going to be very beneficial to this build. After testing multiple items and multiple guns for what actually fit the exotic holster the best, this is the build that I've been able to put together. Now, if you guys think that my build needs a couple of changes or you would definitely move things around, let me know in the comment section down below. What would you move around? Also, let me know if you prefer running the dual element LMGs or do you prefer just running one LMG since we're getting that reload very often? I do hope you guys did find this video helpful and informative. If you did, I want to say thank you guys for liking this video. I know we could get this video to 200 likes, so let's go ahead and get it rolling. And I also want to say thank you guys for taking the time and sharing this video with your friends because that does help me out a lot. If you want to show additional love and support, do consider joining the Bolt Nation to enter and join. It's super easy. All you got to do is click the Join Bolt Nation link in the description down below. And on top of that, you will be getting entered into monthly giveaways and also unlocking exclusive features only found in the channel. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget WGATAP and I will catch you guys on the next video.